school's 580 students, 75% English as another language background. We have many children who don't speak any English at all when they start. First we have to get them to be able to speak English, then we have to get them up to our aim is above state averages, now that's huge. But we've managed to do that and it's a huge task to keep it there. I have to tell you, our teachers work really, really hard, but a big part of how we got there is this constant coaching and mentoring and observation and feedback and turning our teachers into the best teachers they can be. Data and observation drive our performance development culture looking at teacher judgments, using various testing like on-demand and ACR testing. With the strategic plan we have at the start of the year, we look at that and look at what our goals are there, and then those goals are part of the teacher plan. We designed uh, a behavioralised uh, performance and development uh, pro forma so that people could look at the uh, descriptions of behaviours that we thought were part of good teaching and effective teaching. Teachers, first of all, self-assess where they believe they are at. And that's an important aspect because teachers need to realise where they want to go and what they want to learn. From there, there is observation from teachers to go in and look at that and discussions are held with team leaders about how they're going and how to go forward. In those discussions, we look at data, on-demand testing, ACR testing, teacher judgments about how children are going, if they're moving forward and if the right strategies have been put in place. Once the teachers have been observed and feedback has occurred, feedback will then go to the principal, Kevin McKay, the other assistant principal, Jenny McKay and myself, and formal feedback will occur and then the plan will be discussed. I'd been at the Krongold Centre doing um, Bachelor of Special Education and a big part of my uh, training in that was the observation rooms there in the Krongold Centre. So I was always keen to bring an observation uh, focus to Dandenong North Primary School. And my theory was that if you can watch really good teachers teaching, uh, you can always pick up something. Any of us who walk through a classroom will find that. The reason why observation works at Dandenong North is because we have a very non-threatening way of approaching observation in the classroom. In a writing session that I worked on with a teacher, we looked at differentiating her writing technique. She asked me to look at the ways that she was varying her lesson. So we'd sit down and decide on a way that we would do that. I was coached by Karen Rowder as a graduate teacher uh, when I first arrived. She came into my classroom and observed what I was doing. And from that we went away and we took an assessment piece from the grade and we put the kids into groups to differentiate how I needed to teach them. She'd come in again and watch how the groups were going, then we'd get together again. The good thing about the feedback was after the lesson was observed, because of the notes that I've taken, she was able to actually make her own conclusion. So she could actually see, oh, you know, for that group, I probably didn't give enough instruction. Um, that group was struggling a little bit, so I needed to actually go back and look at that again. So she was kind of drawing out how I thought I could do things rather than telling me what to do. The professional conversation occurs after the observation has taken place and it can be as simple as, I love the way you did that activity, can you talk to me about how I can use it in my classroom? Another part of my role is um, in modelling lessons for other teachers, so again varied um, experienced teachers, so some might be graduates, some might be expert teachers. A particular example is their reciprocal reading strategies. I would model the lesson with a group of students with that teacher involved in the lesson and that seems to work really well because it's non-threatening. Teachers are asked to take some risks, you know, they're not being judged, it's just simply to improve their practice. Everything we do here is based on improving our performance, both of the children and the staff and myself too. So everything is about performance and development the whole way through.